no strangers to our home or yours as far as that goes. They are the stars of, home, of the Hallmark Channel original series, When Calls the Heart. Please welcome back to our home, uh, Aaron Krako, Lori Loughlin, and Daniel Listing. Welcome, you guys. Welcome back to Sky. I said Don't to Debbie, let go. I, said, Don't let go. I know, I said to Debbie at the top of the show, I said, you've gone, you know, we had Monday to process this all. He said, are you still going through it? Yes. Oh, my gosh. So, yes, we um, are too. We are. I know. Yeah. It's, it's, but the, the, it's what story, it's what, you know, this Hope Valley's all about is this. Right. So, um, let me start with you, Lori. So, yeah. um, looking back, let's talk about the season storyline. How did this come about? You're also an uh, executive producer on the show. This is why I'm coming I, to you. Thank you. So, I, uh, one of them. Yes, so, yes. Well, you know, it, look, first of all, I want to say we, there's nothing but love here. We right. have, and we are crazy about each other. And we have a lot of respect for Dan, and we respect his decision to move on. Uh, we oh. are actors. We have contracts. Sometimes sure. contracts expire. And for whatever reason, you decide not to renew your contract. So, we love Dan. Everyone should love of Dan, we're supportive of Dan. That unfortunately left us with the really horrible decision of what do we do with Jack Thornton. And yeah. believe me, every scenario that has been floated on the internet this week, from recasting the role to sending him to the Northern Territories, you know, we thought of it. We, we, but recasting the role, that was a, that came up, but then we thought, no, no, only Dan, no, only Dan. No, we, can't, Dan. We, can't, we can't recast the role. And then send him to the Northern Territories. Well, now we would have a show of a woman sitting in a town waiting for her love to come back oh. because, in fact, we don't have the actor anymore to have him, sure. the character, come back. Sure. And then we also floated the idea of Jack just going to Elizabeth and saying, uh, Mountie Duty calls and, and before they ever got married and just breaking up with her. And then we thought, no, 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 Jack Thornton would, would never do that. And no. the only way we came to the conclusion, our writers came to the conclusion, that the only way he would ever leave her oh. was in death. Mm -hmm. oh. So I know that's so sad. We don't plan on killing any main that's characters like anymore. Right. Like, no, that's no, not, that's not what the show is about. But, mm -hmm. but in, so having said that, we knew we had a limited amount of time with Dan. So we genuinely, to all the fans, we tried to give you what you wanted. But what an honorable way right. to, to... But we tried, and so that's know. why we did the yeah. engagement, the wedding, and yeah. then we ended on the baby, because oh. that is really symbolic of what we're gonna be next season. Right. Sure. Because we're a rebirth, we're starting over, we're bright, we're happy. Yes, yeah. we're gonna, we, we, we're not gonna walk around mourning, we're gonna talk about Jack, but hopefully Elizabeth will find love again eventually, because, that's life. Sometimes yeah. tragedy strikes and you sure. have to go on and that's what the Hope Valley community is about and that's what our hearties are about. So we hope mm. you understand we were faced with a difficult decision yeah. but truly nothing but love for all of us, for all of, for Dan and for our fan base. What a storyline. Wow, what a yeah. storyline. Yeah. Yeah. Daniel. Yeah. <laughs> this is incredibly heartbreaking. I can only imagine for your cast because you're all so close. Yes, we are. So, <laughs> We're all still reeling from your right. heroic death just from a few Sundays ago. Mm -hmm. What do you want the Hardys out there to know about your exit from the show? Right, and and firstly, the best uh, fan base in television, and we right. we talk about we we talked about this uh, a lot. And I have nothing but love for the Hardys. I have nothing but love for Hallmark. I have nothing but love for my beautiful sisters here. Oh. And uh, <laughs> but circumstances arose where. Um, I needed to leave the show and for reasons that are personal to me and I went to Hallmark and, and they were nothing but um, respectful, honourable and totally had my back. So they were there for me when I needed them. Yeah. They were there for me when I needed them and I'm there for the Hallmark and for the girls. And, and Dan's not going anywhere, like he's still right. going to be on yeah. Hallmark, I'm, I'm he's actually, still going to the Hallmark family. Let me say this, I, I'm really uh, excited to see what the future brings and that includes Hallmark. Sure, right. Right. sure. Well we're excited for you too because... And you, there's always a space on the couch for you. <laughs> always. Always. Yeah, that's in our, true. In our lives. Thank you. Um, with all that said, you guys got together because, boy, talk about some material oh. for actors to work from. This I one. Mean, right? This one. I mean, Emmy. Yeah, yeah, the, we were actually Emmy. at Lori's house last night, and yeah. she's like, if you don't win an award for this performance. <laughs> oh, I know. <laughs> so good. But I with mean, that said, what would, that, what would it mean to you to all be together and come to Lori's house? That was important, yeah? Well, we're friends, yeah. you know, yeah. we, we hang out anyway, yeah. we you know, friends. and we, this, this is such a, this was a hard episode to watch. Uh, there's a, there's a photo of us, you know, mm. you can see we're, we're not really smiling too hard here. This we're is, not very happy, do we? we, we <laughs> no. This was a, a very hard episode to watch and uh, I, I sat there and I'm still like, you know, reeling over it. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, but just watching the girls' performance uh, last night when we sat there was just amazing performances. And Dan was and very sweet. He turned yeah, he supportive. turned to us and he said, "This is this is the best episode we've ever done." Wow, really? Yeah. Because I mean, truly, there's there's I mean, Aaron's arc in in this story, and then and then uh, death leading to rebirth for oh, season mm -hmm. six. It, her her arc in that um, in that episode was amazing to watch and although it was a very very hard episode I'm sure for everyone to watch especially the Hardys yeah uh, I was just blown away by by the uh, grace and in their performances well yeah. I hope too that yeah. they that they turn now because you know Aaron you you're your character you're playing a woman now who's alone who's going to give birth become a single parent yeah. um, what do we what do you think we're going to see How's Elizabeth going to handle this? Handle well, I mean, I think that's that is true. She's going to handle it. I mean, that's, that's right. Exactly She's going to say, Elizabeth. <laughs> you know, from the first moment she came to what was then Coal Valley, she wasn't even alone then. She hasn't been alone yeah. for a moment since she reached that town. Right. Largely due to. Abigail, <laughs> right. um, Abigail first actually, Abigail before Jack, so um, she's yeah. always going to be surrounded by love and this baby will be raised and celebrated oh. in the most loving, hope-filled community. It's yeah. just, there's a very bright future ahead yeah. for Elizabeth, even without Jack. Yeah. And I, I, I hate to hear those words, but it's sure. true, there is a rebirth and it's yeah. now Hope Valley yeah. is going to really have to come together even more so around Elizabeth. Oh, How yes. do you think? And that's what, I think that's what the Hope Valley, that's what our show represents. And, and, and that's what, it's interesting, out of our show and that community in Hope Valley came the birth of the Hardys. And now they've formed their own community. And I think that that's what, what the, and all my experiences ever with the Hardys, they've been a community, they've always been supportive, they've always been there for the show, they've always been there for the actors, and you can't have a better fan base than the Hardys. Oh, are you I, kidding me? They'll yeah. continue mm -hmm. to yeah. the best. Passionate. You, uh, speaking of the Hardys, and speaking of so many great episodes from this last season, I mean, one was better than the next. They just kept getting better yeah. and better, truly. This was the greatest season uh, so far, you. in my opinion. What were some of your most memorable or favorite scenes to shoot, all of you? Wedding. Wedding. Yeah. <laughs> that was a good one. Wedding, Wedding was, really? was great, yeah. 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 Look, w when I came on last time and we had talked about it, uh, n as, as an actor, you, um, you, you put your heart and soul into your job, yeah. and especially working with great actors to, to play against. And uh, when I got that news about my grandfather passing uh, mm -hmm. that morning, that scene and that day, being with my two very, very close friends, um, I, I believe that we came up with an episode and a, a scene that was, it's going to go down in yeah. Hallmark TV history. Yeah, because yeah. you wrote right. your lyrics, People. or your, your vows. Your we did, yeah. yeah. I mean, we care about we it. We did, yeah. yeah. Our, our showrunner, Alfonso, was so gracious to let us make that small but poignant contribution to the right. episode. Sure. And Dan and I wrote our vows, and Lori wrote her reception speech, and yeah. it just felt like a an extra personal touch that we could add to the episode that all of the Hardys had been waiting for. Right. And we had time. been waiting for. Right, we right. Been waiting That's for true. the wedding right. too. Truly. Yes. Let me go down this path, guys. We talked about the great moments on camera that you know you shared. What about behind the scenes? <laughs> so many. Probably so many walk too away many to with share. It. And memorable moments. What can we share? <laughs> 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 Look, you know, uh, our, memorable moments, uh, our memorable moments uh, behind the camera are just starting. This is, you know, a lifelong friendship we've developed right. here. That's and, true. Uh, it, right, but we've true. definitely had... Um, we've definitely had some fun along the way. Yeah. The we on set, fun. they yeah. usually... These moments usually involve the cheapest, most basic vanilla cookies you've ever had in your life. <laughs> we've heard about these from oh, Canada. Right. We will the ones continue that you ship here to tell those you cookies about still. <laughs> Lori's obsessed with I'm these cookies. President's Choice vanilla. Right, and actually at the, oh at the Hardy family reunion, the third one, <laughs> every Hardy got like a little baggie of, uh, of, those of cookies. The cookies. <laughs> <laughs> They're really just a cheap vanilla You should be a spokesperson. I know, I really so should. Where's the President's <laughs> choice needs to oh hire me up in God. Canada and do some commercials for them. Oh, my goodness. So, you know, right. from the beginning, um, When Calls the Heart has always been about community, faith, and family. And it mm -hmm. will continue to be. And as one chapter closes, it opens up a whole new possibility. Yes. So many other new beginnings and things that will happen. What can we, what can we the Hardys, all of us, yeah. look forward to for season six? 
<laughs> a baby. Well, yes, you can, you can look forward to a baby. And I think we do have a lot of stories to still tell. I mean, there's a, sure. we have a lot of wonderful actors on the show, great characters to, to explore, storylines to explore. So I think, you know, we'll be back to business as usual. Um, what the Hardys love, it's community, it's uplifting, it's coming together, we tell poignant stories about friendships and of course there'll be romance and you know hopefully one day Elizabeth will find love again and you know look it's it, too it, soon. It, too no, soon. not not not, <laughs> too soon. not too no. Soon. And we wouldn't. And we're not going to do like, oh, yeah. here's a love interest right, not, away. right like, away. We're just going to yeah. like, you know, we're just going to give everyone, give everyone a chance oh. to get used to the idea and, and just you know, breathe with us and take the journey with us. And and we hope that, um, they will because, like I said, it was a, uh, you know, if I had my druthers, it would have turned out a different way. But it is yeah. what it is. And so we made the best of the situation. And we hope that you will continue the journey with us. You know, we, we do love all of our fans. And honestly, we really did take you into consideration right. when mm -hmm. this storyline was crafted by our writers. Yes. I already so. know the gears are turning here onto, with our DIYers and how to assemble an early 1900s baby shower. <laughs> But we'll, we like, we'll get sketches to great you, we'll get it set awesome. up, get the invites out as soon as we can. Perfect. Awesome. Yeah. You guys, thank you so thank much. You for so thank you for having us. And this is not the last time we will see you. You no. will be yeah. here. Oh, I have no right. doubt. Annual. That's right. Season you. six, thank you, When God. Calls the Heart, will uh, return with a rebirth early next year, 2019. Wow. <laughs>